Okay, welcome to part two of the ICO HF52 amplifier series. In part one, I showed you just how tremendously bad this 1957 amp was assembled. And today I'm going to go through the amp to see what needs to be rebuilt and what we can keep. Hopefully I can just clean up a few areas and keep most of this wiring intact. Let's start by clipping out some of the truly nasty bits, uh, just a couple of things really. As I showed in part one, these coaxial cables really are a mess. Let's just get those out of there. We can install that again. And some more over here, just real garbage really. Very, very poorly done. Clip, clip, and you are out of there. Another one here. Here on the selector switch. See ya. Let's get this guy out of here. Okay, looking much better already. Uh, let me just remove some of these jumper wires. Yeah, these don't look so good. This will be easy to redo. Let's get rid of these. Okay, why don't we stop there? Everything else looks mm, pretty good. I think we can work with this. Um, you know what? Why don't I get rid of this uh, multi-section capacitor here? I think we can do a better job with that. Let me just clip this out too. Okay, much better. That really cleaned things up. Somebody had replaced a bunch of the capacitors with these oranges, and uh, these should be fine, right? Uh, you know what? These were installed kind of sloppily, too. Uh, why don't we pull these out? Okay, looking good. We also have some of these nice yellow replacement capacitors here. Looks like they did a pretty good job with these. Uh, well, except looking down there, look at that very long lead. Uh, yeah, you know what? Couple of problem areas with these two. Eh, let's get those out of here too. Okay, good. You know, now I'm getting a closer look at these electrolytics here, these red ones. Yeah, those aren't so hot either. You know what? Let's let's take those out. That'll be easy to replace. Yikes, look at the wiring on these resistors. Ugh. Okay, so we just removed a few things. Uh, everything's looking good. Um... Okay, so, uh, huh, yeah, I did remove more than I thought I would, um, but shouldn't be a problem. I mean, most of the stuff I removed wasn't really critical. I'm sure if we plug this amp in now, it would still perform, you know, pretty much okay. Um, yeah, that's good. Why don't we stop there? Um, let me just get rid of some of this AC wiring here. It doesn't look so hot. Yeah, and then we'll stop there. Let me just get rid of this. Um, uh, okay, I think, I think that's good. Shouldn't be a problem for me to get this, um, back together. Oh, well, you know, we have some of these components with this electrical tape here. Let me just get rid of those two. Yeah, the ceramic here, capacitor. Okay, and that should do it. Well, there's this one too, I guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one's installed kind of nasty too. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, to flip that out. Might as well. We've gone this far, right? Yeah, what the heck, this one too. Not like that. And this one's a short ready to happen. Okay. 
so long. Uh, wait, what's this? There you go. You know, I gotta say, the sample looks a lot better now. You know what might make it look even better? Why don't we get rid of some of these really crappily installed high wattage resistors like this one? See ya. And this one. And you know what? All of them. Let's get rid of all of them. Now, isn't that better? I mean, except for the switch. Why don't we clean this up too? Wow, now that was satisfying. I feel like I just took a bubble bath after going five weeks without bathing. Just so refreshing to get all of that crap out of here. Wait, what's that right there? Rotten hell, resistor. This jumper. Take a hike. Phew. Okay, yeah, uh, again, I didn't plan on removing so many parts, but uh, I'm glad we did it this way. I'm sure I can get this amp rebuilt. Uh. Right? I mean, I should. Right? Stay tuned. Looking for a shiny new gadget for your bench? Some good books on electronics, vintage hi-fi or old radios? Indispensable tools, cleaners or other products? Check out my new Amazon shop and help the channel. Lots of great products I actually own, use and recommend. Plus my thoughts on each one. Link in the description. To stay updated, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.